Hello, Gemini. Hope you're doing well. Going to do a quick reading for you. Check in with your current energies. See what's going on. This is for anyone who has Gemini in their chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Gemini need to know or hear right now for their highest good and only their highest good? Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, King of Pentacles. King of Swords, this card, the Magician. Hmm. Um, obviously you're working towards something. I don't know if this is in regards to work. Eight of Pentacles is usually Something or somewhere you go often, whether it's work or school or the gym, the library. I mean, anywhere that you go a lot. It is. It can also be just that act of working towards something, putting in that time and effort. And then we got two kings and the magician manifesting something. Let's see. What is what is the seven of swords? The empress. What else can you tell me? Two of Swords, Nine of Cups. Okay, well, Seven of Swords isn't always the best card, but it can also represent something that's hidden, something that's a secret or you don't know yet. And this won't be for everybody, but there could be a pregnancy. But with the Nine of Cups, this is a wish fulfillment. So it could be something that you, that you want, or you most likely want. If you're trying to get pregnant, then I think this is a good sign that it could happen when you least expect it. Maybe you're having difficult getting pregnant. Um, for those that don't resonate with that, there's a sense of growing in your own power and you don't even realize it, if that makes any sense. Like you don't see it happening but it's something that you want and you are growing. There's like this self empowerment energy that you don't see for whatever reason. I don't know. Let's keep going. King of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. So you might be dealing with two different people here. Queen of Swords, that's you. The World, Wheel of Fortune, and Ten of Cups. So whoever this King of Pentacles is, which is usually your partner, it's your current partner, or someone who's stable, family-oriented. It looks like you're starting a new chapter with them. So if you're in a relationship, then this could be taking that next step, the next level. Could also be, you know, getting pregnant, just like I said with this past line. It's that growing of a family. Both Wheel of Fortune and the world can, you know, represent you moving towards that new chapter. The King of Swords. Now, who is this King of Swords? 
And why are they here? I mean, I guess King of Swords could be you too, because we all have feminine and masculine energy. Or it's somebody that you're dealing with and you have to stay strong. Justice will take care of it. Karma will take care of it. Just keep moving forward, moving away probably from this person. Um, I don't know. Yeah, see, judgment. There's some type of judgment being made with this person. And I feel like you have nothing to worry about. I think just keep doing what you've been doing, whether that's ignoring them, just staying strong and confident and moving forward. Don't let them hold you back. Could involve the courts for some of you because we do have justice and judgment here. So there's some kind of judgment call and it it's most likely in your favor. Especially with the Wheel of Fortune in this reading. Yeah, just have, right, so things are going to balance out. You just have to be patient. Um, temperance for me is also the card of divine timing, which means whatever situ like whatever's happening with this situation it's happening in divine timing. So it's happened when it's supposed to happen. And it may not be when you want it to happen, but there's a reason for, for this time frame, which makes me feel like maybe it's taking longer than it should be. I don't know. The magician. Why is the magician here? is a magician manifesting for the future whatever you've been working towards it's right on the horizon three wands is that you know that energy where you've been waiting and your ships are finally coming in it's just a matter of time queen of pentacles which will bring you into the queen of pentacles energy which is again a very stable um grounded energy eight of pentacles kind of did this reversed but why is the eight of pentacles here which is kind of what i figured it's basically just working towards this this whole situation it's just keep doing what you've been doing it doesn't seem like you have to change anything it's just it's a a matter of being consistent, continually working towards building that self-empowerment, that confidence, staying brave through it all. Page of Pentacles and Knight of Pentacles. Just keep chipping away. I mean, even if you you um, take little steps, baby steps, and take your time, Knight of Pentacles, it may take a long, it may take some time. I don't want to say a long time because the three of wands is here. So that is implying that things are right on the horizon for you. So this could just be representing that this has been a long journey for you. And even if you're taking baby steps, that's okay. Because it looks like it's all going to work out in your favor. I'm going to pull a oracle card for you for additional advice. What does Gemini need to hear? Bird. Stretch those wings and get ready to soar. Yeah. Because whatever you've been working towards, whatever situation that maybe you've been waiting to end or, or take the next step, it's it's about to happen, and I think it's just a matter of getting ready to soar.
So I hope this brought some guidance and clarity for you, Gemini. And I'll see you in the next one. Love ya.